Hey book dragons, it's that time again. Time for my monthly update. Let's go. Thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. It's hard to believe it's that time again. I mean, I feel like I just did a monthly update for November, and now it's already December. This is just kind of nuts. So, <laughs> we're going to talk about all that I read in November. We're going to talk about my plans for December and all the other fun entertainment stuff as well. But before we do, please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to join my Discord if you want to chat it up with me. Support me on Patreon if you so choose. That's cool, too. Um, all my links are in the description below. And without further ado, let's get right to it, guys. November was an interesting month. I had planned to read a lot more than I did. That, and that's okay. You know, I'm a mood reader. The holidays happened, uh, you know, just lots of crazy stuff going on. So I had reasons for not reading as much as I did, but I probably should have planned a little bit better just to know myself and not plan to read so much. But I, I did what I did, and that's okay. We're going to start off talking about the books that I read or didn't read in November. <laughs> Starting with... Changes by Jim Butcher. Uh, this is, of course, book 12 in the Dresden Files. It's an absolutely fantastic ride. So many changes, just like the title. But yeah, so many changes. Uh, I did do a video talking about my feelings on the Dresden Files series so far specifically talking about book 12, uh, but I, I kind of did an overview of the series as a whole. If you want to watch that, I'll link it in the cards at the end of the video. I also did a reaction video to the first chapter. That was kind of fun, so if you want to see that, I'll link that as well for you to check out. But I, I'm just loving my time in the Dresden Files, so I, 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 don't, I can't say more. But that's, that's the gist of it. I also read The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Uh, this was my patron pick for the month. If you're not familiar with how my Patreon works, if you subscribe to the second tier on my Patreon, your name gets put on a wheel to pick a book for me every quarter. And if, if, if I spin the wheel and your name gets picked, then you get to pick a book for me. So this time around, it was The Road by Cormac McCarthy. It wasn't great for me. I'm very disappointed that I did not enjoy it because I know a lot of people love it. But I won't keep going on that any longer. You can watch my review if you want to. I did a review on the book. And you can find that on the channel as well. I'll put the link in the description below for you, okay? I also read Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. This is book two in the Dune Saga. And guys, it was such a great book. Very different from Dune, but very, very good. I I was very impressed. There's a lot more political maneuvering in this book, uh, some conspiracies that have to be dealt with, some really unique world-building choices and uh, plot choices as well. And I, I just absolutely loved it. I'm going to try and crank out a review for that here at some point just to give you my thoughts on it, but... Yeah, needless to say, I, I loved Dune Messiah. I also read First King of Shannara by Terry Brooks. This is a prequel to the Sword of Shannara trilogy. So uh, this is basically kind of where it all began. The, the forging of the Sword of Shannara, the fall of the Druids. Lots of things happened in this book, and I, I just absolutely loved it. I finally got back to the world of Shannara, and I'm really glad I did. And I really do hope to continue it. Uh, it felt like coming home to an old friend because there were so many Easter eggs from the Shannara world that end up being kind of explained and fleshed out in this book. So it was great. Now there are some books that I started and did not finish. One of those is Assassin's Quest 
by Robin Hobb. I didn't DNF it. I just didn't finish it yet. So we'll talk about that more here in a minute. I also started Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. And this is a buddy read that I'm doing with Angie from Angie the Bookaholic. And uh, I, I did not finish that one either yet. Uh, so uh, more to come on that. I'll talk about that in a minute as well. Uh, I also started reading something that I actually hadn't planned on reading, but it's an audiobook, so I figured, why not? I've been wanting to read it for a while. I fired up Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far, uh, but I haven't quite finished it yet, so I, I will be finishing that here probably in the next couple of days. It's a pretty short read, and I am almost done with it. And then I had planned to start reading The Bitter Twins by Jen Williams, second book in the Winnowing Flame trilogy. I did not get to it this month. I also did not finish Fire and Blood yet. So, uh, you know, prequel to A Song of Ice and Fire. I didn't finish it yet. I will eventually. I'm going to get there. But I, I had added it to the list thinking I could probably finish it this month. And I, I didn't even pick it up this month because I've been busy with other books. So let's talk about what I watched in December. So I, I had a lot of fun watching some shows, uh, mostly watching with my daughter. That's where the, the majority of the time watching shows comes in is spent with my kids. We watched season four of The Dragon Prince on Netflix. And if, if you guys aren't watching The Dragon Prince, you're really missing out. It's a really unique and captivating story. Uh, the artwork is just breathtaking. Uh, the, uh, the creative cinematography that they put into it is just beautiful. And uh, one of the writers on the show wrote for Avatar The Last Airbender. And it's also broken up into books just like Avatar The Last Airbender was. So it's got some similarities there and it's a really, really fun show. We also went to see Wakanda Forever in the theater on opening weekend. It was so much fun. I liked it just as good, maybe even a little better than Black Panther. It was that good. And they did a beautiful job of honoring Chadwick Boseman's legacy and still made it feel cohesive and part of the story that, that he was gone. And so I, I just really loved how they handled it. And, you know, props to Marvel for handling such a difficult and devastating loss. So, uh, really enjoyed that movie. My daughter and I also started watching Wednesday. So, this is based on the character Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. And you'll, you'll see some other Adams Family characters in the show. But it's kind of a Adams Family meets Harry Potter. It's kind of a meshing of of those two types of storytelling and I, I just I'm loving the show so far it is so much fun so if you're a fan of the Adams Family you definitely need to check this show out it, it's a lot of fun and laughter and um, just having a blast watching it and of course we continued watching some Doctor Who that's kind of our MO we're always continually progressing through the Doctor Who series so that's been fun. Now, a couple of things that I did not get to watch yet. One of those is Andor, which is uh, based on one of the characters from Rogue One, part of the Star Wars universe. I've really been wanting to watch it. I keep hearing really good things about it, but I'm kind of waiting for my kids to get some time to watch it with Dad and check it out. Um, I, had, I had also planned to watch Enola Holmes 2. I did not get a chance to do it yet, but again, I will eventually, so more to come on that. I had two really amazing guests on Chasm Friends, Andrew from Andrew's Wizardly Reads and Theo from The Rekindled Reader. Both of these guys are just positively gems of the booktube community and I am so glad I got to chat with them and nerd out. And uh, we, we just had a great time. So I hope that if you have not watched those already, you'll take some time to sit down 
and enjoy our chats. I really enjoy doing these discussions with my friends and I hope you do as well. So now that we've finished up with November, let's talk about December and we're going to start with the books that I plan to read in December. And it is a short list, guys. I'm trying to keep it simple for December. It's the big holiday month. Lots is going on, lots of family stuff. My son's gonna be home from college for most of the month. And so I wanna make sure that I get some extra quality time with him and with my kids in general. And we, you know, just lots of, lots of stuff keeping us busy. So I am going to read Ghost Story by Jim Butcher. This is book 13 in the Dresden Files. And from what I understand, it picks right up from the end of Changes. And oh boy, I can't wait to see what happens in this book. It's, um, I I'm not gonna say anything because it'll be spoilers. But needless to say, I think Ghost Story is going to give us a very different Harry Dresden. <laughs> I'm also going to read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is the very first time that I have ever read A Christmas Carol. You heard me right. It's a classic that I have never read. I've seen tons of adaptations of it. Some are better than others. I do have a favorite, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. But yes, I've never read the book, and so I'm very excited to finally read that. I'm also going to pick up Muse of Nightmares. This is the second book in the Strange and the Dreamer duology, and I don't think it's called that, but I'm calling it that because that's the only thing I can think of right now. <laughs> so yes, it's the sequel to Strange the Dreamer. It completes the duology. It's written by Lainey Taylor. I'm so excited to see how this duology finishes out. I am going to do a review on the duology together. So stay tuned for that. And then the only other books I'm planning on for December are the ones that I didn't finish this month. That is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb and Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. I'm going to be finishing those in December. And then if I have time, I have given myself an elective slot. So I might be able to fit in the remainder of Fire and Blood into that slot. I might be able to read The Bitter Twins by Jen Williams, put that in that slot. I don't know. The beauty of having an elective is that I get to choose. And choice is a good thing, especially for a very busy month. I think you'd probably agree. <laughs> so what am I gonna watch in December? I'm going to finish watching Wednesday, of course. I can't leave that series uncompleted. It's just so good. And we've only got six episodes left, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish that in December. We're also going to be watching the final season of His Dark Materials on HBO. Uh, this is a phenomenal series, guys. It is such a good adaptation of the books by Philip Pullman. It's way better than that movie, which we won't talk about, that came out back in the early 2000s, I think it was. We, we won't talk about that. Uh, but yes, this is an absolutely phenomenal series, and I highly recommend that you watch it if you haven't. We also have some Christmas movies planned. The first one I'm going to tell you about is Elf. This has become a tradition for us to watch every single year. Uh, we watch the live action version. I know there is a cartoon version. I have not seen it. I've heard it's good, uh, but you know, the, the first one I ever saw was the live action movie, so why not just keep watching the live action movie? Uh, Will Ferrell is great in the movie, which is saying something because he's really hit or miss for me as an actor, but Elf was just amazing, and he gave a really great performance. So I'm looking forward to watching that again this year. We're also going to be watching The Polar Express on Christmas Eve. That is another one of our traditions. Polar Express is an absolutely phenomenal movie, and, and we always pause it when it gets to the, the scene in the train where they're served with hot chocolate. We all, 
we always pause it right there and we go to the kitchen and we quickly make our hot chocolate so we can have hot chocolate while we're watching the rest of the movie together and uh, it's just such a fun time and I always enjoy having that time with my kids and continuing that tradition. It's really a lot of fun. We're also going to be watching my favorite version of A Christmas Carol. It came out in the 90s on television, or maybe, no, maybe it was the late 80s. Anyway, it came out on television. George C. Scott is the actor who plays Ebenezer Scrooge in the movie. And there's some fairly well-known British actors in the movie as well. Uh, and I, I just absolutely love that version. George C. Scott is my favorite Ebenezer Scrooge that I have ever watched on screen. And uh, I can't wait to watch that again this year. And we also always have a tradition of watching a Charlie Brown Christmas. So I can't wait to watch that again. Uh, the Peanuts Gang is just an all-time classic. And, you know, that, that's been a Christmas show that I have been watching ever since I was a kid. You know, it, it's just so memorable and sentimental for me and to be able to to carry on that tradition with my kids every year has been a real blessing so it's going to be a great time watching some of these movies and shows in December um, and, and that's it guys that is my monthly update in a nutshell I will be having one Chasm Friends episode in December I'm going to have Jake from The Bookish Drummer and his girlfriend Stacy. They're going to be joining me for a couple's episode on, or well, at least they'll be the couple on the episode. So we're, we're all going to have a great time chatting. Stay tuned for more information on that. I will be sharing the date on that soon. And that concludes my monthly update, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments some of your thoughts. Uh, what will you be reading and watching in December? I would love to know that. Chat me up on Discord if you want to talk more about this video or other videos that I made. And as always, make sure that you read more books. I'll talk to you soon.